The hospitality industry has, of course, been devastated by the pandemic. Hotels closed, leaving staff out of work and in need. It all happens so fast for so many of us, but thankfully for some, one South Bay nonprofit was willing to act just as fast. Here's NBC Bay Area's Garvin Thomas with our Bay Area Proud. To be successful, a nonprofit has to have more than just good intentions. They have to have skilled managers who can take an idea, scale it, and make it sustainable. Over the years, Hunger at Home has proven it has all that, but lately, they've also proven they have the willingness, in an instant, to do it all differently. It is 7 a.m. on a Friday, and the first of what will eventually be 300 cars are already in line. In them, people whose lives have been turned upside down by the pandemic, now relying on a nonprofit, which has had to turn itself inside out to help. We are so lucky and so fortunate, so blessed to be able to do what we're doing right now. Yule Sterner is the CEO of Hunger at Home. We profiled Yule in 2016 when he was still general manager of the San Jose Convention Center. Seeing all the perfectly good food that was going to waste every day in the hospitality industry, Yule started Hunger at Home, taking the excess from businesses that had it, delivering it to nonprofits that needed it. It was a workflow that worked very well until COVID changed everything. The hotels started calling and saying, we're having to close, we're shutting down. Then it started to become more and more real. With no hotels to provide the prepared food, Yule and his team scrambled overnight to find their own and prepare it themselves. In three months, they've given out 400,000 meals. Hunger at Home has, has changed rapidly. I think we can even hit it with onions as well. Denari Brown is the former executive chef at Levi Stadium and Hunger at Home's COO. He says one unexpected benefit was all the hotel chefs now out of work willing to help. The food Hunger at Home is preparing is truly gourmet. It's, it's important that we give out quality food because that's the history that we have. That's our careers. We've always put out the best product possible, and doing it for free should be no different. Even those on the receiving end of Hunger at Home's generosity have changed. They still provide to nonprofits, but many who have lined up are Yule and his team's former co workers. For our families. People they know personally. People that we all worked with in need and, and struggling. It's very sad. Thankfully for them, there were people willing to change as quickly as the world around them. In San Jose, Garvin Thomas, NBC Bay Area News. So thankful for their help.